Alright, so I've already done a video where I built a normal single rabbit holding cage. So this time I'm going to do a video about making a kitten cage, which is basically taking two normal single kitten cages and putting them together. So got my measurements here. We're going to go ahead and start making the shorter sides um, for the wall since those measurements don't change at all. So it's 12 tall and 24 long. And there. So I'll make two of these. And this is usually how I cut up the wire. It's nice sitting on it. It just helps. I'm actually up in my room today because it's way too cold to try to do all this outside. Measure out a second one. Double check your measurements as well. Because if you do get it wrong, it becomes a bit of a hassle later. So after you cut out two shorter pieces, um, you want the longer sides. Now since we're going off the measurements of the single, the single cage, it's still 12 tall and the normal cage is 30 long, but we're going to double that so it's 60 long. And how you do that is you count these. It's just easier because it's not straight. Measurements won't come out correctly if you try to measure it off. See, because it curves up and all that. So that's why you count it. I'm going to have to roll it out a little bit more. of your long pieces. It's um, really kind of long. But that's going to be the front or back of your cage. It might seem a little too long at first, but when you start putting the cage together, it'll make more sense. So there's the third piece. Of course, what we're going to do is go ahead and roll out this some more. Gonna start getting smaller. Just need some help and turn it. So we've got four of the pieces of the kitten cage that we need, and we need three more for the kitten cage. We need the top, the bottom, as well as <coughs> the dividing section. That's annoying. It just broke off, but oh well. Not much I can do about that right now. Um, I'm going to be perfectly honest right now. After thinking about it, I'm not sure if I have the right dimensions. 
on the um, bottom wire, the uh, one inch by half inch wire. So um, I'm not going to cut it out right away until I've built the rest of the cage, which just leaves the top. So right now, actually, I'm just going to build the walls as soon as I'm done pulling off all of the little metal bits here that are sticking out after cutting it. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure, I, I think I have all the right dimensions, but I can't remember entirely. So I'll have to, um, I'll have to look, but we'll, we'll get that all figured out and we'll make necessarily, necessary, um, adjustments as I need to, so. It's not too big of a problem if I don't. That just means a little extra work, but that's fine. So, first I'm just going to get all of these off. And then proceed with that. And I'll either have to build it downstairs. Because I don't have enough room in my room to build it up here and then get it through my door and then down the stairs. That's a little too much maneuvering. So I'll probably have to build it downstairs. And it's, it was nice for a couple of days, but I miss those days, so building it outside would be a little bit more difficult. We're supposed to have more snow coming up. Um, snow or ice, one of the two, I don't remember which exactly. So, that's a thing. Now, this kitten cage I'm actually going to build with a top-down door. So the door will be on the top, not the sides. So this cage is going to have to sit lower than my other kitten cage, which is fine. And the reason I'm building it for that is because, as some of you remember, my very first litter was in the very first kitten cage that I made. And what happened is that the mom busted out the doors um, and set herself and the babies free. So this kitten cage is going to be for rabbits that I know are escape artists and stuff. So that's going to help. I don't know that I'll build a lot of top-down, but um, if things go according to plan and we get land and stuff, then I'll probably start building more cages with oh, great. Um, doors on the top. Especially one, because I'll plan, I plan on having tractors, and I have an idea in mind, I don't know if it'll work yet, um, but top-down cages would be better for movable cages that I can move across the field so they have fresh grass every day. And that is eventually what I would like to get to because they'd be much happier on the ground. I don't know, I might be able to make the cages slightly bigger when I do a tractor style, but then again, perhaps not, there's no guarantee. But we'll figure all of that out when we finally get 40 acres or so. Oh, my corners are snapping. That's really annoying. It's one thing you gotta be careful of is occasionally your ends will start snapping off. <sighs> but these cages they're pretty sturdy. I have never had, and we've had dog attacks on our chickens before, but I have not had any problems with predators getting into my rabbit cages or anything. Um, we haven't had any dog attacks, but we also have a very large dog now uh, protecting our yard. I don't have any more door guard. I'll have to see if I can't get some more because I really do like it. 
Sometimes when I have that happen, if I've got enough, I'll wrap the two wires together. Just try to make sure that you use this as like a upper corner piece or something so that your rabbits don't get stuck by the wires. Mm. can be difficult to wrap them around each other though. It's not exactly easy. Oh gosh, didn't get myself enough there. I don't know if that should do. So, yeah. I want to avoid that as much as possible, but sometimes it can't be helped. I gotta do that on this side now. Alright, well, I'll come back when I've got more done. Alright, so we're going to cut out this part now. Um, but I, I went ahead and already put the uh, four pieces that we already had and put them together. And I think, I don't know, it just feels bigger than the last kitten cage. Not that that's going to be a real issue or anything, but... Uh, so all we need is the top and the bottom and the dividing section. So I'm going to cut the top out of this piece here. Uh huh. And I was getting a little fed up with the wire as I was putting it together because it kept breaking. I just, uh, it's never done that to me. Not nearly that much. So that's a little annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. And uh, just do it at the same length of your cage. I mean, I haven't been very good at explaining anything, but basically you just decide, you know, what size you want your cage. In fact, my cages are a little bit tall, so you could make them shorter, just a little bit, and be perfectly fine. Um, but other than that, yeah. So, well, I'll show you more later. Okay guys, so um, this video has been going kind of weirdly, but I know what I did wrong um, on this kitten cage. I know what I did wrong. So, the measurements were actually, um, the long side was 30, the short side was 24, and I accidentally typed it up wrong, but instead of measuring the short side, which needed to be 24 two times, I did the long side, which was 30 two times, so it ended up being 60. So, technically the cage is going to be the same dimensions. It's just going to be longer, not wider. So, um, that'll be something new to try, I guess. And we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm still frustrated with this wire. But, we'll make it work. So, there's that. Okay, guys, so as you can probably tell, I've been sitting on this for a while. It, I've done little videos over the course of a couple days. So, um... Yeah, I've been sitting on it for a couple days trying to think how to fix it or what to do with it. So I've decided that I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to finish building it. Um, I'm going to put the center in. I'm going to basically continue as if I had made it correctly. It's just going to be longer than the other one. Um, and that should be fine. That really shouldn't change much other than the fact that it's longer. And this is going to be a top down. So the door is going to be up here. So it's not going to matter too much. But, yeah, so I already put the uh, four corners together. It's super long. I just got to put it on the top, put in the divider, and then put in the bottom. And then it will be all good. So, yeah, and I'll do a, I'll probably do another video on the actual, the right kitten cage. Um, another time. Maybe next year. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so finally made the entire box. It's all put together. All in all, it looks kind of nice, but somehow, I somehow, don't ask me how. <laughs> somehow, I don't I don't know how, but it's functional. All I have to do now is add the doors to the top here and then cut out sections for the feeders. I've already gotten the 
the dividing doors done and everything. So that's really all there is left to do. And then we'll compare it to the other cage. All right, I've got the four feeders on. I'm doing something different this time. Instead of doing just one long one, I'm going to do a slightly longer one. And then one normal sized one, which should equal about the same, maybe a little bit more. So I've got them all on. Struggled a little bit with that. I've got one door on. I just need to put the next door on. But, uh, yeah, I think this one's longer. This one's longer. They should be roughly the same dimensions, really. This one's just longer. While this one's wider back. So, they'll both work. I'm going to leave this one on the ground for now. Um, I'll be breeding here soon. So this cage will be in use. So I just got to put the, the next door on. And then it's all done. Alright guys, it's done. I'm finally done with it. Took me forever. So, um, I'm going to call this both a scrap cage and... Oh, fail wind cage, because, oh, well, here's why. So, the sides, the front, the bottom are all from the uh, newest wire I bought. But the section, the middle section here and the doors are actually um, scrap metal that I salvaged from, well, some of the scrap I've got here. Some of it I've got back on the porch. This is all from, like... All of it's from, from making cages, from all the cages, I think. So I've got scrap pieces that I decided, since uh, this was kind of going awry anyways, I'd go ahead and use up if I could. So the dividing section is salvaged. The doors are uh, salvaged. This one's actually salvaged off of another cage. Nutmeg's cage over there was starting to fall, apa fall apart, so I went ahead took off the two sides that were falling apart this is one of them it wasn't so bad but I did have to take off the end here because it was falling apart but the rest of it is still workable so that's what I'm using for this door and then since they're scrap pieces I didn't really measure them so this door comes up a little too far so I did something actually ingenious I originally had this door over here but I had these two scrap pieces so I made a two door thing. So this side is a door as well, but since this comes up too far, I've got it down there. Which would make it, the way I've got it attached, would make it a little difficult to um, open this door. So now it's, it's two doors. So I can still get in there. So, uh, fail win cage and scrap cage. It's all workable. Uh, either way. It's not as not as nice as my first one, but it still works. It'll still serve its purpose. So we'll be putting a, a dough in here soon. Get some babies going. It's done. I procrastinated a lot on it, but it's done.